Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey. And today I wanted to continue on with talking a little bit about initiating a breakout and show you a really simple breakout progression drill that you can use with your team to begin to implement some of the patterns that uh, recur every time your team is executing a breakout in a game. Um, one thing that I, I usually mention is I always really like to work skills in progressions. So it's bit, you know, start simple. Um, and then as the kids get the, uh, you know, the initial phase of whatever skill you're working on, then you can add um, more and more complex things to the progression. And, uh, you know, at the end, then you've, you've worked every step of the progression from simple to most complex and, um, you know, every different variation along the way. So what we're going to do, let's bring up the rink and we're going to start. This is a very basic, basic breakout progression drill. Um, but like I said, as you get into the more complex variations, you can add different tweaks and different elements that will make it uh, into a very effective game situation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with a line of forwards on the blue line. So put all your forwards on the blue line, um, and then what you'll do is have a defenseman start about at the dot, and then you can just have your other defenseman kind of just line up on the side uh, out of the way of the drill. We'll have a group of pucks here right with the forwards and what we'll do is to start the drill um, the first forward in line will basically just make a pass stick to stick pass on the stick of the defenseman and um, after he makes that pass then he's gonna go down and just get my right arrow here go down and he's gonna skate down in fact let me make sure that I put the right uh, the right head on the arrow so he'll skate down, all the way down, uh, below the bottom of the circle. Now, I mentioned this before, different coaches have different philosophies on whether or not they want their uh, kids' feet to keep moving as they're receiving that breakout pass. Uh, my personal philosophy is, especially at the young ages, teach the kids to never take their eye off the puck. Um, you know, as they get older, there are certain times and places where they... Um, you know, it will make more sense to just do a regular power turn instead of an inside reverse pivot. But for the sake of this drill and for the sake of um, learning in general, what we're going to do is have the kids do an inside reverse pivot. Um, so that means that they'll go down, uh, never taking their eye off the puck. So they'll do an inside reverse pivot around the bottom of the circle, uh, and then another inside reverse pivot as they get kind of towards the hash marks. And so this ends up looking somewhat complicated with the arrows, but basically. Um, to make it simple, just tell the kids not to take their eyes off the puck. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to do inside reverse pivot. As this is happening, uh, the defenseman will take and turn towards the boards. Okay. Actually, I've got the wrong arrow here. Let me just uh, delete that. Now that our defenseman has the puck, I'm going to make sure that we reflect that with the arrows. So he'll turn and he'll take the puck, turn towards the boards and start skating behind the net. Now if you haven't watched our uh, previous video on initiating a breakout, you might want to go back and check that out. Basically it just shows you some of the different options that the defenseman can use um, as, in, as he's initiating the breakout. So for this particular drill, um, we're just going to have him skate and uh, take the puck into the quiet zone, which is this area just behind the net. And uh, you know from there he'll just initiate a simple board side breakout. So from as he gets towards the uh, the back of the net, then he'll just take and make a simple pass, stick to stick on that forward stick. Um, always make sure that you tell your forwards to have their target out in front of them. Uh, the tendency is for the young kids is they always want to receive the puck on their forehand. So even if it's going to be on their, you know, even if uh, even if that means that they're bringing it behind them, a lot of times they're reaching behind them just so they can pick up the puck on the forehand. So make sure that, especially when they're on their backhand, that they have that target out in front of them so that they're learning to receive the puck out in front of them, give a target out in front of them, um, and that'll help them in future years to not be setting themselves up for suicide passes. So have them put the target out in front, uh, and then from this point, the forward will pick up the puck and uh, skate all the way down the ice. So at this point, you know, you can set it up so that it, you know, there's another set of defensemen down at the other end to come up and play a one-on-one. -on -one. Or if you want to just quickly run through this, this can be, you know, just a simple pick up the puck and go down for a one-on-one -on -one -on uh, type of drill. So that's the first step. Now, as your players get more complex and as they, you know, 
eventually once they get the hang of the first step, then what you'll want to do, and I'm actually I'm going to put this in a different color just so that we don't get uh, too bombarded here. Um, so after you, the kids get the hang of it, then what you'll do is have the second forward in line go down and play the role of the of the centerman. So he'll skate down. Um, dang it, did the wrong uh, wrong arrow again. Sorry about that, guys. Let me just fix this. Okay. So the the second forward will go down playing the role of the centerman, swinging through and timing it out, so that he's basically cutting through the middle for a pass option. Um, so that now the puck can go, you know, hit the winger, and then a quick one-touch pass to the centerman who's swinging through, and then the centerman can can then pick up the puck and skate down the ice, and in this case, then the forward will become F2, which will mean that he'll swing in, and the, the first forward with the puck will drive wide, second forward will drive to the net. Um, as you, after the players get the hang of that, um, option, then what we'll do is the third part of the progression, which is you add the third forward in. So now three forwards will leave at the same time. Um, the first two still do the exact same thing. You know, the, the winger swings down low, keeps his eye on the puck, centerman is swinging through to time it out to get the middle pass, uh, and then what you'll have is the third guy, and I'll draw him in blue here. Uh, he'll come down and as if he's playing, you know, kind of covering that low slot area, then as he sees that the breakout's going to happen, now he can time it out and become the breakaway man. So in theory, you could have, you know, a pass that goes to the boards, then uh, one touch to the centerman, and the centerman will hit the breakaway man, uh, and then all three forwards will attack with the first man driving wide, second man driving to the net, and third man coming in as the trailer. So that's the simple breakout progression. Now, Obviously, this is just the basics of it. Um, as you get into your own team and what the, their needs are, you'll be able to you know, tweak it, fix it, so that uh, it can be applied to whatever breakout system that you might be using. And also, you know, make sure that you work the different options. So instead of having the defenseman skate behind the net every time, set it up so that maybe he does a misdirection and break it out the strong side. Um, you can also have it set up where there's a, a second defenseman in there and the D do a, a D to D pass and then break it out. Uh, so there's lots of different variations, lots of different tweaks that you can do with this, but it's uh, it's a very very effective drill to you know begin the the you know establishing those patterns of whatever breakout system you're going to be using with your team.